What's up everybody? Ninja Daddy here. Got pretty little Ninja Lee over here. Trying to stay warm. Got a little uh, heater on the floor. We got a propane heater here that heat, heats it up in here quick. But it's loud so can't record. But we came in here yesterday and cleaned out our building. Got us a good workspace, a place to work out. And uh, got Floki in here. We're going to replace the uh, LED headlights. Um, I realized the plug had came off. One of the headlights were out. And evidently while it was wiggling loose, it was causing little arcs. And caused the one on the other side that wasn't loose to actually burn out the low beam. So they sent us a replacement so they could be split. When it took what? Two days. Two, two days. And uh, so we're going to put them in. Good customer service. Uh, we just got so many, what, 13 days to send back the old ones. So we're going to go ahead and get those swapped out. And uh, see if I can tighten up that socket where it won't wiggle off of the bulb anymore. Cause any more issues. And then we're going to take all this off and replace this little valve cover gasket down here. It's leaking, it's cracked. But, uh... Yeah, that's about it. That's a, and, and oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the locksmith. And uh, we'll put a picture up of his sign. This is the key that got bent. We tried to straighten it out. But he could not make a key off of this one. So he used the one. Let's see if it'll focus. It has a hairline crack in it, but he was able to make a key for us off of this one, and it worked. Um, so we will be going back and getting another one. But yeah, I about broke it. But uh, this morning we got out here to try to start working on Floki and Michelle didn't get the key jammed far enough in, into the truck lock and bent the key. I tried hammering it back straight but that wasn't seeming to work. It didn't want to go back in the keyholes. So, uh, you know, we went to this guy. We've used him before in a pinch and he always does a really good job. He gave us this key actually for free just to try out. And he said if we get the bike up there, um, he can do some filing and stuff to make it function even better. But uh, so far it seems to work perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started on these bulbs. And Michelle looked at a video online. And he's talking about taking all this stuff off to get to the bulbs. But this and then all this comes off. But... All I did was reach back here. It takes a little more work because it's tight. There's your boot. Bulbs right here. A little clip you push down, it pops right out. Fold that out of the way, and your bulb comes right out. Well, you know, for some reason, this one burnt out low beam from the arcing or something. You got a new one? It's still there in that box. It's an adapter that we have to pull off this bulb. Is it bulb grease? Yeah. Dub in there. It's probably plenty more than enough. Alright. 
and there's special notches in here so you can't get the bulb upside down basically so the bubble only fit in one way So it looks like hooked up. Basically that little wire just hooks under that little metal piece. Hold your bulb in place. Just put the words where the right side up. I don't think it really matters. But. Alrighty. Basically, you got these two connectors, and all I'm going to do is try to pinch down on it a little bit, and make it a little more snug, so you don't have no uh, issues. You don't want to push too hard. Just be real gentle. You see it just bowed in a tiny bit. And it's going to grab a hold of your connectors better. Alright, snap in. That's pretty much it. That's on there. Now we just gotta do the same thing for the I other think side. The other side is just a little bit. And that was the plug that actually wiggled itself loose. Push down on this tab. Find it works easier if you get it centered on the bulb here and it actually squishes around your bulb. And then it's pretty much centered up. You just gotta work your way around to get the outside. And the same thing on this side, this one's loose. Bend them in slightly. A little piece, a little piece of mine. Something we should have done the first time. There it goes. It was a little tight getting on because I bent them things, but it's on there now. Well, that's like off. See, there's like no bulb on. I wonder if it's supposed to be that way on the beam. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be that way too. I and maybe know. they want nothing wrong with the bulb. I could have swore they were both on before. Cricket. Oh, I hit the switch. <laughs> to make the video for you guys we just figured out Floki uh, is only has one eyeball when uh, <laughs> <You're all living. laughs> yeah I was trying to figure that out when it only had two wires going to the bulb instead of three but now we know that 
<laughs> and we made a video of not having to take the entire front off. Yeah, because when we put the balls in, we just sort of put them in, and we did like a before and after how they worked. That, that video is on one of our uh, videos, but uh, you can go back and watch see actually how bright it is amazingly bright <laughs> uh, compared to the HID halogen bulbs or whatever was in it, Exion bulbs. But, you know, that's that part. Now we got to get the tools together. Yep, take the seat, take the tank, access everything, put some new spark plugs in it, new gasket. We'll change the oil while we have to. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? Getting ready to work on Floki. Got this little pack of uh, impact wrench sockets. They got magnets in them. Harbor Freight. Super cheap. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but well worth it. We're going to see if we can take Floki apart mostly with this, um, other than if there's an Allen wrench. But it goes up to 12 millimeter. There's a 10 millimeter bolt on the back side here. You just reached in there, unscrewed it. There's a little bracket that comes loose, holds the seat in. And you pull your seat out. You gonna get the battery too? Just change the battery out? Yeah, we'll go ahead and put our lithium ion battery in it. Look, you could use a little shining on those terminals. Crusty. I think he said it was two years old. Ever start Power Sport ESTX9. Anybody in need of a battery got one cheap? <laughs> Smart battery charger. Yeah, and we did. We do a research before we buy things, so we try to buy it's upside down. things that are highly rated by customers. This is what we're putting in Floki. Get them all shined up. Might just hold off on the battery till we get it. Yeah. Get it back together. I think he had a full pack of gas, dude. Lucky us. We're gonna put it in here. Mm. Load them some more. <coughs> I don't think it's. Oh. Right, there's a little vacuum line that pops out a little, little metal clip on the side of the tank. Can you read it? And it attaches to the bottom of the tank. 
Make your overflow in case you spill gas in here. Hold on. I'm going to do what that flashlight came up with. Hmm. There's a wire coming this way. I wonder if you just unplug it here. There's two plugs on this side, and then this will just completely come off. Alright. Do you want to come over here? I'll I need a light in here so I can figure out this fuel connection. Probably just unhook it from here, on this side. Still with that same connector. Oh. I'll have to watch a video on that. Should I get my small fingers in there? Okay. I'll just keep that held down. Can you pull the plug out? Well, let me get this screw in. Alright. There we go. Teamwork. I don't know. Be a little harder by yourself, I guess. <laughs> so it looks like like a little pinchy thing here and you can pull it off on that side. It looks like you pinch those great things together. No gas gonna come out. Looks like you check that out. <sighs> oh. Well, if it works on this side, it'll work on the other side. Maybe not. Well, I felt, I felt it click or something. Can you pick up more? Well, I can't pick up more and hold the flashlight. Hold on, let me get on the other side. Just don't want gas to go everywhere. Is there a screw up here? Holding the gas No, it slides back. Alright. Need a bucket in case gas comes out. There's one over there. I mean, we're going to tip it up. I think it's coming off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it'll ever stop coming out, but some gas did come out. Don't lay it on the paint. Um. <laughs> heavy. On. I got a pillow.
think this would be a vacuum line there, was it? Where'd the gas line come off at? Over here. Oh. That's radiator fluid. Yeah, I want to look at it. Take your gas tank off to get to your radiator fluid. Woo! Yeah. It's green. Yeah. It's green and clean. Kawasaki. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be a B-I-T-C-H to get to. Well, maybe. <laughs> we have to take the little radiator covers off. Yeah. You see what size it is? There's a fillet set over here. You got a fillet set on this side too? Mm -hmm. Oh my I don't think we gotta move everything. We just gotta be able to access these bolts. And then, uh, let's see. Well, that battery's heavy. Mm -hmm. Hold on. You need to bring the kitchen scale in here and we'll do a weight comparison. I don't know what I did with the scale. <laughs> it used to be down where the pots and pans were on that back shelf. Bigger size. <coughs> Three Phillip heads. I think that's holding it. A little cheap piece of plastic comes off. Made in Japan. <laughs> Got coil over plugs. I think that was the anti-season. and there's like a one-way valve in there to release the pressure in the valve cover. Or cylinder head covers, we found out it is in motorcycles. I go your way, pull it your way. What, the, the valve lift? This cable right here, pull it all the way up. Yeah. Pick up on that side.
don't think it's going to come out. <clears throat> yeah. Is one gallon going to be enough? Well, I don't really need to drain it all. I just need to get it down oh. out of here. Need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to drain the uh, radiator fluid down to here, take the oh, hose off. Um, a regular size. So I can get this off without spilling junk everywhere. Taking a long Austin Powers pee here. <laughs> shake it off, Rocky, shake it off. Dark green. <laughs> it ain't looking good anyway. thermostat and the temperature sensor. I'm not sure what this little thing is. Maybe a bleed valve. Probably. Bleed the air bubbles out. I say it gives a funny sound. Yeah. Maybe this is the one. Mm, we need to. Might have to order that little boot. Oh, I see it. It's down in there. Okay. We'll get up with some pliers. So, so I'm okay. Anything else 
in the way. No, it looks like it'll come right out. Cam chain. Just <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that one's stuck. Oh shit, what was that? Mm, it fell over here, whatever it is. It's just probably a chunk of that thing. Yeah, just a chunk of rubber. Oh. That's our valve cover gasket falling apart, you yeah. Well you had to pull it out <laughs> pull it over from that side. I don't wanna mess up no. Nope. Lift it up. Where do you get gasket filler? You don't need any on this. It's a rubber gasket. Oh. Re reusable. So you can do valve adjustments and stuff. But when it gets dry rotted like that, it's not reusable. Look down there. See that gunk? This is the worst side. It was leaking all in here. Take my rag, put it on the screwdriver, so I can reach in these little tight places and try to get this sand and stuff out. So wipe it straight out, try not to get none in the motor. And messy it was. Push it. Plug wasn't in there that tight either. This person says they replaced theirs with engine ice. We didn't need a special socket, just a regular 16. And pull them out with the pliers. Well, that plug is crusty. I mean, it don't look wore out here. But it's like all corroded. Like, what do you do? Have do it on a rainy day outside or what?
cannon. And we'll just have to use one. Yeah. Do you want me to bring you something to eat? <laughs> we're good, baby. No, we're not. We're good. Love you, too. Can I still come out and help? You sure can come out and help. Okay. I'll be out there and I'll be in that I'll be in that Okay. Love you, too. Little Kevin will come out here and help you while I go to advance. <laughs> How's that sound? Be back. <laughs> Being robbed, yeah. Sure, but right. well, no, we got to put, put the uh, the new gasket on. I've heard gasket ga gasket to many times while I was watching YouTube videos about vehicles, motorcycles, and stuff. I just want to be a little taller before I ride Ryan's motorcycle once I get there to where I feel safe to ride it I'll be riding this around the house mm -hmm. and maybe just a little bit on the road or the side you know, Ryan used to ride the mess out of his other dirt bike, and then well, I think he got too much into video games. Yeah, probably. Seems. Riding at, riding vehicles like go karts and dirt bikes outside is more fun to me than video games. Because <laughs> you're just rotting away your brain. From the <laughs> That's why I'm big going outside more, because I feel like that. This gasket actually fits over the top of the head. Uh -huh. There's a rag pinched in there to push down on it so I don't scar it up or anything. It's clean. I'm pretty sure since it says Xbox 360, it means those games have to go on. Oh, a PS3 game. I'm going to ask Siri 3 and YouTube, can a PS3 game go into a PS4 game? No, I tried it. Oh, you have? Okay. It was supposed to be backwards compatible, but... Like, all None of my games were. Get these bolts in, just grab these bolts, put them in the house. No, I need to wipe it down first. Here's your rag. Make sure there's no dirt. Where's these bolts? They're all right here. These? Just one at a time. Take it, clean it. Make sure there's no junk on it.
guess I'm not sure I can get. If you need a new rag, you can just use this one. I like this one because the oil makes the. It's got a little tiny bit of oil on it. Want me to also rub the disc? You can. Get dirty in here, y'all. I'm trying not to. Some more weight reduction. <laughs> I got the dirt off. Man I don't know about weight reduction, but it'll make it cleaner at least. It's manufactured 203. As clean as possible. I love helping them with builds. With a maximum weight of 884 pounds, that's including the passengers. <laughs> I think the oil is helping you pick up more stuff. Yeah, it sort of sticks in the right there. And it shines the metal or the paint or whatever. Nobody gonna see this. I know it's there. It's extra grinding weight on the bike. <laughs> Are the mini screws for the thing to throw on and stay supported? I'm assuming that. Why are you so much? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till Mama gets back with the uh, stuff for the spark plugs before we go any further. It's all nice and skinny. <laughs> Our little helper Kevin with our oil pan. Thank you, son. I ain't got my hand. I'm just gonna use this. This one's gonna be already. Put my hand up a little. Denso coils. <laughs> you didn't put the grease on it? Oh, yeah. Before you get back with that. Thank you. 
Yeah, but over there where we parked the bike, you know how I get the cement blocks and the board on top? On the cement block in the right, there's a tool. Black with these two claws on it. Why'd you jump on it? We got wrenches. We got wrench food. You break this? Yeah. You doing good again? Kid? It's a what? A tool. Round like this, and it has these claws on each side. It takes a, it's got a square hole in it. So the second, I'll send that block on the right. It's right here. You don't look too bad. No grime or nothing under that. Did, uh, what'd you do with the oil filter wrench? Kevin's going to get it right now. Oh, that's what he went to get. Is it this? Yes. Very good, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you very much. I saw a tool that looks like that. I'm pretty sure that's it. What is it? It takes off the Ooh, oil filter. Good. That is good. Did it go when it first came out? I don't know. No, not really. Is, are you talking about that weird round thing? Uh, yeah. I know where, I'm pretty sure a new one is. But it doesn't have a box. Come on. There you go. Or do you already have uh -huh. You already have a new it's one? It's right there in that box. Mm -hmm. Well, I know what I'm pretty sure a new one is. This is the new it one. It just ha doesn't have a box. That's it. I can go get it. I'm still gonna go this, 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 this. Isn't that? You wanna open it? Spot? No, that's the. That's the cool one. Gas tank's over gas there. Gas tank's over there. For <laughs> the radiator. I didn't know I was under it. Mm hmm. I thought they were connected. Thank you. And our motorcycle one's different from car ones? Yeah. Just a little. Why do you do You want to cover the O ring so it doesn't like peach. Yeah. And it, gives it, it slides and gets a tight seal. Mm. Plus, it helps keep it from seeding up to it when you go to take it off.
gonna have to slide them on the thing if you don't pull it completely out. Will it start sliding for? All the way down. Did? You just have to make sure when you hook the battery up and turn the key on and don't squirt fuel out or something. Did you find the kitchen scale? No. I didn't. Maybe it's probably look up the weight of this right now. Mm -hmm. Weight. This is a... Which one is this one? That's the bigger one. It's a 19. DS12. That's why they come with this old little screw. 1984. This is 1.12 kilograms, which is 2.47 pounds. Well, and then like we, we should be able pounds. to weigh the other one just by holding it on the scale still. Or maybe even just put it on the scale. Feather light, y'all. <laughs> I'll make Flicky pull into them turns a little better. <laughs> well, it's static clean. Miles of dust and ground. <laughs> Perfect. Mm, don't need nothing. Awesome. Cool deal. <laughs> well, that goes on top.
So all we're doing is these little tabs on here. They won't allow this to go all the way down on there. Should come with an adapter. That'd be cool. Could probably use a couple washers under there, but I just bend these. Yeah, enough. Ain't nothing gonna touch you. Yeah. Is there metal on the bottom of the seat? Well, it's almost hard. I don't know. Will I have a long neck? Will I have a long neck? Nah. Not long neck. Nah. Not gonna touch you. Anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Eh, it could just sit. <laughs> Where's the flashlight? The lubricate did a lot because we broke the key. We didn't break it. We almost broke it. And Michelle almost broke it. <laughs> You almost need a tool to uh, take the cap off. <laughs> okay. I should do it. Gracious alive, who puts the thing on that tight? <laughs> I know one person. bought it from. That's <laughs> All right, so I'm going to protect it with a rag. I'm going to double it up so the pliers don't scratch it all up. And quadruple it on it. I'm going to be right there at the muffler. <laughs> <laughs> Blow my ears away. <laughs> we did it! We did it! We got all the way down. napkins or wet wipes or something in that one. Even right have there. a cleaning kit. Get it all nice and shiny to go somewhere. <laughs> Look at there. I love it. Look at there. Any flavored juice in there? Yes. <laughs> Mm, 
right. Just gotta hide the cord, and we are done with Floki. Yay! We did it, Daddy. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> It's too cold to ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get some heated pants and heated socks. I think if I had heated socks and gloves, I'd be on. It seems my toes and my coat, my fingers, the first thing get cold. We need to add more. Where's it at? Is that the bottom line yet? It's just barely above the bottom line. All right, guys. We are done with Floki. We got the, that, the cylinder, cylinder head, cover. Cylinder head cover. <laughs> we got that replaced. We put new spark plugs. We did an oil change, new coolant. Switched out the headlights. Switched the headlights. Upgraded battery. Upgraded our battery. So now we're fixing to take Floki out and we're going to bling in Blueberry. Which is his SV650 for the giveaway. For the and giveaway, I'm get working on it, get it rideable. So when we give it away, somebody can just tag it, sell it, whatever they want to do with it. But it'll be rideable. And so yeah, just make sure you go like, subscribe, comment, share, um, share the love. You know, we gotta get to a thousand before we get Blueberry away. Yep. So make sure y'all do all that for us. And um, like I always say, keep it railing on two wheels. Later. Later.